A useful links page will allow you to list multiple links to resources, to external websites, files, whatever you choose, and to categorize those resources. To begin the process, click Edit to enter the edit mode. New page, useful links, add page. Done to keep the useful links title. Sort your navigation to include the new page for useful links. To begin working on your useful links categories, click New Category. If you choose not to use multiple categories, a default category will be created for you. We've chosen to use a category for each of our two units. So my first category will be called Unit 1 Resources. Scroll to the bottom and select Done. Click Preview Mode. Click the Useful Links page on the left navigation to see that you've created a category that has zero links in it currently. And the category is called Unit 1 Resources. Go back into Edit Mode. To add another category, click New Category at the root level. Title your next category. Mine will be Unit 2 Resources. Notice that at the bottom of your menu is a category level selector. So you can actually have this category at the top level, so it'll be equal to the Unit 1 category, or you can actually put subcategories within subcategories, so you can get pretty deep with your organization. Push Done to keep this one at the top level. Click the Useful Links button on the left-hand navigation to get back to the root level and now you will see a Unit 1 resources and a Unit 2 resources that are ready for you to add links to. If you'd like to change the name of those categories at any time, you will have your pencil option in edit mode to go in and edit the link category and change the name of the category if necessary. To begin adding your links, we'll go back to the root level, we'll click on Unit 1 resources. When you've opened that category, you are ready to add new links to that category directly. So I'll add new link. The first thing you'll need to do is title the link. I'll use my CNN example again. You will need to paste in the URL to that link or type it in. I'll type www.cnn.com. You can also choose to have it open in, the, in a new window or the current window. Usually when you're going to other websites external to your school center site, you will probably want to open them in a new window so that the user can get back to your site in the present window. So the default is new window. We'll scroll to the bottom and select done. And you put in your first link within the category Unit 1 Resources. So we'll click Preview. We'll click back on useful links to see how the system is working. Unit 1 resources folder now has one file in it. The user will click and they'll be able to see the link and they can click and CNN will open in a new window. Let's go back to edit mode. Within the links that you add, I'm going to edit the CNN link by using the pencil. If you type of description, it will appear below the link so that your user knows why this is an important link. So I'll type in a short description for what my students will find at CNN. I entered a description of a great resource for current news. Push Done. Preview the page. So the link will be on the left and indented will be a description of why this is a good resource or what you can use this resource for. Let's go back to the root of useful links. Go back to edit mode. You also have the ability to sort your categories. So you can easily uh, change the position. If you'd like to reorganize them, you can. You also have the ability to move resources around within your useful links page. So if I go back into Category 1, Unit 1 Resources, and I decide that CNN should really be in Unit 2, I can hover over with my pencil, edit the link, 
and notice at the bottom of the dialog box there's a category drop down menu so you can easily switch categories or levels so I'll switch this to unit 2 push done go back to my useful links page and now I just move CNN to the unit 2 resources